गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गाइन्स हाउ आर यू ऑल दर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग वेल आई थिंक राइट डू नॉट वेस्ट टाइम द गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इज कमिंग अड सो प्लीज टाइम प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली इफ यू स्टार्ट राइट नाउ देन यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट अ गुड स्कोर इन गेट बट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट राइट यू हैव टू स्टार्ट द प्रिपरेशन ओके प्लीज वॉच ऑल माई द लेक्चर्स नाउ करंटली आई एम टेकिंग फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स and the design part i have already completed the design section okay in the playlist i have created for all subjects please go through all that playlists okay so please like also and share with your friends and uh, this is what the free content on the youtube through the youtube media i am providing you guys and it's your responsibility to uh, to, to subscribe my channel okay we will continue today we will take a little bit the kinematics problems okay see the kinematics part is now I mean, and now comes to end right so then, then we'll see uh, th there were more two or three lectures remaining on this kinematics once it's complete we'll start the fluid uh, dynamics okay see here the question the one uh, first question is in front of you okay please read the question for a 2d flow the velocity field is right like this u x upon x square plus y square i and plus y uh, uh, this is okay the y upon y square plus y square in j direction right this is what the velocity field is given i and j are the basis vectors in the x y j x y coordinate cartesian cartesian coordinate system identify the correct statement from the below and see that statement what the statements are given here we have to check whether the flow is incompressible unsteady okay uh, uh, and the first statement you have to check like i will write down here what you have to do the flow flow is the flow is incompressible the flow is incompressible the second one is the flow is the flow is steady and the third you have to check you have to find out the x y component of the acceleration y component of acceleration right you know all the this this thing i have already explained right everything see uh, yeah, yeah. whether the flow is incompressible or compressible for that what you have to do you have to just check the continuity equation that is uh, del cross v okay uh, not cross sorry it's del dot v equal to 0 okay whether this Uh, given velocity field is satisfying this equation okay if it is satisfying the flow will be incompressible see in this case this is what the velocity i'll write it as a v okay the the u term is this and v term is this right because this is what okay the u is given here that is x upon x square plus y square right and similarly the v is y upon x square plus y square right uh, <coughs> see if you integrate this then you will check whether the flow is see the, for this what you have to do for do u right do u by do x plus do v by do y is equal to 0 okay just you have to put the value of this here if this uh, the sum of these two terms the velocity components right the gradient of the velocity comes zero then the flow will be incompressible rather it will if not it is not coming to zero then it will be incompressible please check that now the other that is of whether the flow is steady or unsteady right see uh, see from there here the flow is here i will write the flow is unsteady because see uh, there is not a t term here so okay i can easily call for that the flow is uh, flow is see uh, the flow is unsteady right and see the y component i can find out the acceleration also and the x component of the acceleration the fourth thing you have to find out the uh, how you will find the x y component of the acceleration the fourth you have to find the x component also x component of x component of acceleration right this thing you have to find how you will find out the x y, x component suppose uh, ax is you know Uh, that is u uh, du by do u by do x right uh, plus uh, v do u by do y plus 
W do u by do z right plus do u by do t. From the expression right, the u and v are given. This do, both terms are not given, so it goes to zero. Right? You just put in this, then you will find out the value of the acceleration. Similarly, you have to find out the y. How you will find out y? Y that is v do v by do x plus uh, not v it's a u right u dv by dx and it is a v do v by do x plus w do v by it is a y okay do u by do v by do z plus do v by do t okay this term goes to zero and again uh, this term is also goes to zero because there is no the flow is steady and the third the, it is a 2d flow means the, the only this term that is a convective term which comes in picture right right like that like this how you can you can easily find okay now we'll move on to the next question uh, let me hide this okay yes see for a steady flow the velocity field is v is equal to minus x square right the u is given that is u small u is given that is minus x square plus 3y right and the v is given as that is 2xy here okay see this is a deletion means i am writing here the v component of the velocity the magnitude of the acceleration of the particle at 1 minus 1 is this thing you have to find out okay see here <coughs> uh, first i have to find out i have to take the ax what the ax will get no t term then i will write down this do u by do x plus v do v do u by do y right and i'll put this in this then what i'll get from this see u that is acceleration ax is equal to u is minus x square plus 3 y okay minus 2 x right plus v v is 2 x y and this is into 2 x here will come right means the acceleration that is uh, here see uh, if I multiply this with this then what do I will get mm, ah, that is here a minus minus plus it is a 2x cube right 2x cube minus uh, 6xy plus here that is uh, 4x square y okay you put the value of this x and y here and you will find out the acceleration similarly you have to do for ay also uh, az term is not there then finally you will find the acceleration as square root of ax square plus ay square clear and you can find the easily acceleration like this now we will move on to the next uh, yes in a lagrangian in a lagrangian system the position of the fluid particle described as follows right see the x is x naught e raised to minus kt and y is equal to y naught e raised to minus kt where t is the time while x naught and x naught k are these are the constants okay the flow is you have to say whether the flow is unsteady steady okay and two dimensional three dimensional like this you have to comment on this how you will do this see there is a very simple this the x is given as that is x naught e raised to minus kt right and the y is given as y is equal to y naught e raised to k and t uh, <coughs> see here the u is what the velocity that is do u by uh, not do u uh, do x by do t right this is what the u and if i put this x here then i will get the x is equal to d do by do t x naught e raised to minus kt right the x naught i will take common that is x naught and the k that is minus k the constant will come outside right if i integrate this then here i will get the minus k x naught e raised to minus kt will be added in and minus k one term will come means from this i will get the u see the value u is coming minus kx right here because this value is x right and the next if i find out the value of v is equal to that is dy by dt right what the y is given to us that is y naught e raised to kt right 
means I will get from this I can easily write the V is equal to KY is coming. So if I find out the velocity for this it is minus KX in I direction right plus KY in Y direction KY in Z direction right this is what the velocity means see the time term is not coming here right and <laughs> the flow is two dimensional because uh, means it is a steady and two dimensional flow steady and 2D flow right this is a 2D flow okay you understood this okay now we'll move on to the next question see the water flows through the pipe okay the velocity field in which water is flowing see here the flow is also unsteady because the time term comes here right and it is a two dimensional only the x and y is coming right where j is the unit vector in y direction at t greater than 0 is in seconds and x y are in meters right the magnitude of the acceleration at point x y equal to 1 1,1 1 at t is equal to 2 second is this is again a simple question right just we have to find out the magnitude of the velocity right see here uh, j is in, in direction okay see the velocity which I have to take a y right because the velocity is only in j direction right the other two components are missing so it is dv by dt right plus u dv by uh, u dv by dx plus v dv by dy okay what the dv by dt from this what you will get see it is a 4 by t the other two terms are 0 right means I will get 4 by t square right it's minus again plus the u term is no this term will goes to 0 right because there is no u term here the only this is what the v term okay v is 4 by t plus x plus y right if I do the integration of y then I will get the value 1 ok now you can put the value that is minus 4 by t square right see the, the value of the t they ask for 2 seconds means here here there is a 2 second means it's a 4 right it is a minus 1 plus here see this is what again the u term we are getting right the acceleration in ay is equal to 1 minus right the x y term your x value is x is 1 y is 1 and t is 2 if you put this 1 plus in bracket 4 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 1 right means uh, 2 means 4 right minus 1 plus 4 means the acceleration I am getting a y is equal to 3 clear Okay, now we will move on to the next question. I think you guys is very simple to this. Okay, now the fifth question. What this question is saying? See, uh, uh, the velocity of an incompressible flow in a Cartesian system is represented by V is equal to 2x square minus y square i plus Vj plus 3k. Right? Which of the following expression V is valid for? Okay, you have to find out the expression for this. See, this is what the three-dimensional flow. Then how we can for three-dimensional do I write continuous equation that is the do, uh, do u by do x plus do v by do y plus do w by do z, right? Is equal to zero. Uh, if I done this integration, then I will get that is 4x here, right? 4x plus do v by do y, right? Uh, this is v here do v y v dy will keep add as it is right and this equate to 0 now i'll integrate this how to integrate this see the do v by do y is equal to minus 4 y not 4 y it is a 4 x right i integrate this and from this integration i will get one equation what that equation that is of v is equal to minus u minus 4 x y plus c c the value of this c you have to put that is which is the given right uh, <coughs> okay this is what the uh, and you will find the answer finally if you put the value of the c and find out the constants and you find the expression for this given okay for this given velocity field 
okay now with this we will stop for the today's class uh, in the next class okay we will see the stream function and velocity function in the polar coordinates how it looks like, like right up till now we have seen the stream function and potential function in uh, the Cartesian coordinate we have seen right but if we take it in polar coordinates right polar means it's a cylindrical coordinate then how it looks like that thing we will discuss in the tomorrow's class okay guys please hit the like button share with the with your friends uh, if you have any doubts please speak and put in a comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel and thanks for watching bye